Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're checking out HP's budget lineup that's kind of new to the game called the Victus lineup. And this thing features a Ryzen 7 5800H and a 3050 Ti for only $1,000. What are we missing here? I don't know. Sounds like a great deal to me, but before we talk about this laptop, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Temp Space and their lineup of setup gear. First up, we have their dual monitor arm, which is super simple to install with a clamp or screw into your desk, can hold up to two 32 inch monitors. Right here, we have demonstrating two 24 inch monitors that work very well in landscape and portrait mode and allow you to clean up your gaming or work setup by adding more desk real estate. The monitor arm also pairs very very well with their electronic height adjustable desk featuring a 48 by 24 inch surface, a lifting speed of one inch per second with a total lifting time of 18 seconds from bottom to top, five control buttons with two memory settings for specific heights, and a waterproof anti-scratch material surface for long-term durability, making it a great ergonomic upgrade for your home office or gaming setup. We were very happy with how easy it was to make this setup using TempSpace products. So if you want to copy this setup at home and make your setup game that much better, definitely check the links in the description down below. And special thanks again to TempSpace for sponsoring today's video. So we're kind of new to this whole Victus lineup. We think it's basically just one step below the HP Omen lineup, although these specs are definitely on par with some of the HP Omens that we've checked out in the past. We don't really know if it has like the super gamer stack to it, but hey, that's what we're here to find out by opening it and checking it out for you guys. So let's just do that, like right now, not later, right now. So this is uh, really new to us, like I said, this is the first time we've ever checked out one of these new lineups. Supposedly they've been out for, I think just a little bit, you know, I don't, bit. I don't think they're like super new. It's not like we're checking out before they've gone live or anything, but, um, these specs are pretty crazy. I mean, it's definitely new. The fact that it has 5,000 series, um, it's Ryzen 8. And on top of that, it has a 3050 Ti, which is obviously very new. Here Look at that. that, new packaging. Very new, new packaging? New pack? I don't know, I don't remember this packaging. It's diff, it it's is diff. different. So it looks like on the side, we have a massive power brick. And hey, you know what they say about a big power brick. Lots of powerful components inside the actual laptop. So the it's bigger always, the brick, the better is what the you're saying. The, the bigger the brick, the better. Yeah, yeah. yeah the bigger the brick. Size matters. Um, we have setup instructions. Uh, so it looks like we have like a little V on the front. It, it's kind of funny, it reminds me of Vitro. Vitro? Because <laughs> we just did a build with that. But the laptop definitely, it, does, it doesn't have like the Omen aesthetic to it. You know, it doesn't have that really big fancy logo, but it does have the V. I'm kind of curious if maybe it lights up or something. Maybe, it's know. kind of reflective. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna do something crazy, or maybe it's just gonna look like the V, I don't if know. If it's not full RGB, we run. If it's not full RGB, we send back. Yeah. Um, but it looks like, you know, we have plenty of venting in the back. It looks like it has two fans. We have one on opposing corners, which is pretty typical for any high-end laptop. There's really nothing on the back aside from that. It has some uh, feet so that it's kind of risen off the table. So you don't have to worry about it overheating but obviously we'll find out thermals and how they do. Um, as far as ports go, we have the full-size SD card reader, a audio combo jack, USB-C, a USB 3.0, an HDMI out, and then we have an ethernet jack right there in case you wanna go LAN, and then the actual power connector, which is pretty small. It's not like a huge barrel jack or anything. Other side's really basic. We just have two USB 3s. So really typical with what we've seen um, with kind of like the more budget gaming laptops. And opening this thing up, we got a pretty big screen. I believe this is a 17.3, but we might need to do some measuring or some research to really make sure, because it almost looks slightly smaller than 17.3. I'm thinking 15.6. You're thinking 15.6? Yeah. It just feels like it's a bigger laptop than 15.6, but maybe I'm just being totally dumb here. Um, you can see RTX inside, also Ryzen 7 inside. Match made in heaven. And it also has a 144 hertz full HD screen, has a built-in webcam, built-in speakers, built-in microphones. So it really is like an all-in-one laptop, everything you could ever need. And hopefully it'll actually play some really high-end games. We definitely know it's going to play games. Just will it play Warzone and all that at high settings? I don't know. Hit that power button. I think we should hit the power button. Does, Does it, have it actually charge? have charge? Oh, it has charge. So far we have charge. It's always the waiting game. Yeah. Waiting oh, for Cortana ooh. to come on. White backlight? Yep, white backlight. The fans, the fans screaming at us. Um, yeah, so white backlight, I don't know if it's, uh, you know, customizable at all. I'm assuming you can maybe change, like, the uh, brightness and stuff like that. But other than that, it's pretty basic. The logo, I don't Does think it do glows. anything. I don't think it glows. I think wow. it's just a normal, like, I think it's literally, like, a mirrored logo. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? We can't really take off points for that. It's all about how well it games. Are you ready for Cortana to scream at us? I'm ready. Hi. We gotta wait for I'm that, Cortana. and then we'll install some games. Just, this is the moment of truth. 
All right, guys, now that we have this laptop all booted up with games installed, well, we might as well play some games. As you can see right here, we have MSI Afterburner up and running, and we are in Apex Legends. Um, I'm just gonna dive into an arenas match just so we can uh, get some uh, decent benchmark numbers here. We are running a 1080p with, uh, we'll turn VSync off, cause you know, we don't want VSync. Um, I do have the frame rate limit still enabled, so if we do hit 144 on these like high like settings right now, um, it will only hit 144 FPS, so it won't go higher than that. But um, I have a feeling it's probably gonna be like anywhere between like 90 to 100 give or take not fully maxed out but um yeah i'm excited to see how it tests let's wait until we dive in and get some gaming numbers now i did notice right here they have like a built-in what looks like um benchmark utility or like overlay i couldn't figure out where that came from but that's a cool feature for those who are curious to have like fps and gpu utilization and other stats in the top right corner you can see that on the fly without having to use something like msi afterburner which we always end up using another thing i have noticed is the screen is kind of dim it's not the brightest screen in the world but that's not the end of the world because well it, it looks fine it's not it's not awful um, but it is high refresh rate so you do get to enjoy the very buttery smooth experience and i am leaning over playing games right now to give you all the best camera angle possible so uh do bear with me here we're gonna mess with some key binds here to make sure that we don't have toggle and then melee we're gonna use that there we go Look at that, boom, boom, boom. So smooth, feels pretty good. Um, frame rate is about 90 FPS right now. Um, it looks like the CPU is running around 89, 90 degrees Celsius. So definitely hot, but it at least is boosting. Um, CPUs and laptops are kind of okay to run hotter than usual um, and they'll perform perfectly fine, but ooh, FOV is a little, little wacky. A little wacky FOV, there we go. All right, so we're looking at 90 to 100 FPS. I'm pretty much like medium high settings on Apex, um, which is pretty good. I hate playing arenas on this map because, you know, you're just sitting there and sniping people constantly. Ah! We push, we push these. Oh no. Oh! I am the only one. Okay, well, there we go. We're down. Oh God, teammate, where were you? But uh, yeah, Apex runs. It does fine, good. It doesn't make us really good gamers at the you moment. At gaming. But um, yeah, we're gonna play another game that's pretty hype, <laughs> Splitgate. Cause yeah, that's a game people like to play now. All right, guys, we are now queuing up in Splitgate, the new randomly popular game that's still in beta, but we are at full screen, 1920 by 1080, full render res, FOV turned all the way up, and we have a frame rate of 360. You can't do max for some reason, but VSync is off, so um, we should get you know close to 360 at times, and then we're like maxed out settings, so who knows, maybe we'll only get 60. I don't know. You never know, bro. Never know. Look, Matt, let's do club silo. It's SWAT. It's SWAT. It's SWAT. Should have seen this coming. 270 this FPS, uh, almost 360. Oh. We're not, we're not getting max max cap, I don't like that. All right, it's time to get sweaty, guys. All right. Definitely smooth. I mean, if, if th this this feels like 144 hertz for sure. For sure. Aim for the head. Don't do good under pressure. This watch is so satisfying. What is? Just playing SWAT, you know, just oh, getting yeah, headshots. Oh yeah, for sure. Like that? Yeah, like <laughs> that, playing just like that. <laughs> the guy rushes you. But yeah, in esports titles like this, um, believe it or not, we're not gonna be testing Fortnite on this laptop. Uh, but it, it, Fortnite would run perfectly fine for those who are complaining that we didn't test Fortnite. Um, Splitgate is, well, the new hype thing right now, so we decided to test Splitgate. Let us know down below if there's any other games you wanna test. We might be adding Forza to future benchmarks, so. Um, but looks like RAM usage, we're using about seven gigs of RAM, um, 240 FPS. The GPU and CPU are only used, being used like 20% of the time, so this game isn't super demanding. Um, so for, oh God, oh, 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 oh God, why can I not get out of it? In. <laughs> <laughs> he just wouldn't let me out. Why does the guy look like that? He's so beefy. Oh God, that was scary. I believe in you. CPU is running about 4.1 gigahertz, which is pretty, pretty nice. Oh, bro, where'd this guy go? Get one more shot. Oh yeah, two more shots, three more shots. I know, I really lied I said low ammo like really quickly. See, normally like my strategy in SWAT when I played like Reach and I was pretty good at it is I just, you just gotta jump constantly. 
jump and then run around circles and wait for like them to that. spawn See? on you. And then, and and then, then die. you die. Yeah. Yep, you definitely die. Use it. So <laughs> does this game actually carries your settings over then? Yes. Okay, that's kind of cool. Why did that guy just spawn in front of me? Oh! No! <laughs> nighty night. <laughs> You're going nighty night, buddy. Watch this one. <laughs> oh God. Laptops revving up now. We're using portals. Yeah, it, is, it is getting. Ooh, get the flick. Nighty night's not gonna kill me again. I really like having sprint and jump. Uh, yes. Jetpack all the time. That part's nice about this game. Hey! Yes. All right, was Matt top of the leaderboard? Was Matt was top I, of the leaderboard? Was I, was I top? Go put me up there. I can't see it. No worry, we'll see. Oh. 24 nice. kills. That's Oh, gold. Oh. Gold. Gold. Hey! Gold. Dude, look at that. I had hey. six, six body shot kills. Nice. All right, let's test uh, another game. All right, guys, we are now testing Warzone. Now, with the new anti-cheat they enabled, we can't actually use MSI Aftermath for some reason, but that's why this handy-dandy built-in, like, utility isn't blocked for some reason. It's there. It works. Um, so we're going to dive into a Solos BR. We are on, like, a mixture of, like, medium-high settings, a few lows here and there, normal, high quality. It's, like, all over the place. This is what it defaulted to, so you all can just see what we have going on here. There you Ideally, go. you'd probably want to go, you know, like low, medium, yeah. so you can really get that max FPS. Max we're, FPS. we're locked at a nice 60 right now in the yeah. menu. Locked at 60 in the menu. Uh, V-Sync is off. I think it's just the menu FPS, um, but it's up to like 250 FPS cap, which I don't think you're going to hit that. Um, but as long as you get over 144, you can actually enjoy that beautiful monitor. So let's hope we get in the game and uh, go from there. I'm getting like PTSD from us trying to queue and up on for On a side note, I was totally supposed to mention, this is actually a 16.1 inch screen. So. It is not a 15.6 and it is not a 17.3, but 16.1. Different size, never heard of that before, yeah. but I like it, it works. Yeah, the right, bigger the better. We got in the game. Feels smooth though, it's not stuttery or anything. No, really, I mean, even though you're not, he's not quite, yeah, you're like 80, 85 FPS. So I mean, you're not getting like the 144, but like if it, it looks really smooth. Obviously we could lower some settings if we really wanted to get it. Uh, Maybe we will. Maybe, we Maybe will. he'll die in warm up. He's right, done. Let's see what we got here. We're going to go lower. Something that's just on like really high quality. Let's just say maybe ultra, I'll do normal, normal. <laughs> Whatever that is. Whatever that is. All right. Didn't really do much of anything from what I'm seeing. All right. But only time will tell. But only time will tell. All right. Ooh. Oh. Cinematic. Cinematic gaming experience. I didn't realize the FPS is over here too. Yeah. I think once you drop and look at the sky, man, you're guaranteed 144. Oh, are you oh. kidding me? No, oh. they're please, sweaty. No. They're Bro, that person, sweaty. they're chasing. Uh, please stay away from me. I don't want it. Oh my God, what is this game? I don't like this. He's better. Hey, He's better. I'm better. But how, for how long? I don't know. So FPS is like 70 to 80 in the craziness of Superstore. But again, it feels smooth. It's not stuttery. Um, and it's still, oh, was that a guy? It's a good gaming experience. Bro, he's on there. He pulled out his pistol. Oh God! <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh my God. He Bro, he was waiting. Oh, look at him. Oh my God, he's sweaty. <laughs> All right, we're going to Gulag. Dude. Hey. Maybe there's someone hiding in there. I know, and I missed everything. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Did he snipe me? Okay, he didn't. I was going to be very embarrassed if he just sniped me. Dude, this guy, is, he needs the war zone. Though. He needs it. But uh, 106, you know, quality. All right, so we have one more game we're going to run. It's a built-in benchmark for Borderlands 3 just to show, like, the, well, best case scenario in, like, a AAA title. And then, yeah, we're going to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we now have Borderlands 3. We're gonna go ahead and run the built-in benchmark real quick. McAllister will probably just, we'll speed it up or do some sort of like montage with music because we don't really have much to say about it. We're on medium settings, we're in the built-in benchmark and we will see what kind of frame rate we get. And uh, wait, what am I doing here? Oh, it's our benchmark. All right.
All right, guys, now that the benchmark is done, we're going to go under visuals and see that we average 83 FPS on medium settings at 1080p. Um, I did just realize uh, on MSI Aftermarket, you might have noticed the uh, percentage was not super high, like the GPU was like running at like 15%. That is probably because I accidentally selected the, um, the AMD graphics GPU instead of the actual GPU. So um, if you use this over here, it would show you that it was actually pinged at 100% the entire time. So of course, 3050 Ti is a little bit of a bottleneck in this setup, but it is still an awesome laptop for a thousand dollars how we're gonna wrap this video up real quick all right guys so you just got to watch this game on this 16.1 inch laptop with 144 hertz screen and really every game we threw at it besides warzone because it needed a little bit lower settings was doing 144 hertz and it looked super smooth for a thousand dollars you really cannot complain here yeah a thousand dollars is a high price tag for a laptop but i mean you're getting really good specs 144 hertz screen 16 gigs of ram in dual channel and it's just a really good all-in-one package so if you're looking to pick up this laptop the link's in the description down below will be affiliate links directly to HP's website. That is the best place to buy these laptops at the best possible prices. And you can also customize them too on their website if you want more storage or more RAM, you actually have that option to do so. So thanks again for watching today's video and uh, you know, just awesome checking out this Victus laptop and we hope to check out some more future HP stuff in the future that's not necessarily acid green. It's probably going to be acid. Maybe. We Let's like acid. Honest, and honestly, those ones just work out great. But yeah. yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toaster. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hey, Matt, did you check out my new sweatshirt? Whoa, where do you get it? I got it from Teespring on our Toasty Bros store page. You can also go to our website too, and it's actually on there. But link down below to our merch or our website, Toasty Bros. Dot tech. <laughs> yeah, that's our website. I mean, our whole website. We're we don't great. use it that yeah. often. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, guys.